welcome my friends to our virtual campfire tonight. Thank you so much for joining us wherever you might be. I hope you are warm and happy. We have a wonderful night ahead of us tonight. We're going to be singing some songs. We're going to be doing some skits. We're going to be having a good time, everyone. All right, so my name is Pangea, right? We have a bunch of outdoor school instructors ready to sing and do some skits for you. First off, we have Dragonfly. We have Owl. We have Peak. We have Squid. We have Colibri and Creature. All right, my friends. So first up, we are going to welcome up our friend Squid, who's going to teach us a wonderful song. Let's give it up for Squid! Woo, the banana slugs! I see your banana slugs on your hand. Oh, that's a good one. Nicely done. Oh, I like the little antenna there. Good, good. The so we're going to sing a song to all of our banana slugs after the banana slugs. And we're going to sing a song to all of our banana slugs out there in our forest right now. Being our decomposers, breaking things down, putting it back into that earth that we love so much. Here we go. Banana slugs, 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 banana
It's a banana slug. All right, my friends, thank you so much for that. And a big thank you to all the banana slugs out there. All right, so here at Campfire, we do like to give some special claps. So I want you to give yourself and everyone else at this campfire a wonderful clap. This is a cheese gator clap. I want you to go to your refrigerator, open up your refrigerator, look through it. All right, you don't want those vegetables. Ah, there you go. You want that big block of cheese. Get your cheese, get your grater, and great, 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 great. All right, so next up, we have our friends Creature and Owl are coming up very soon for a very, very important skit here. So we are gonna give them a lights, camera, action, right? I hear there might be royalty coming pretty soon here. All right, so let's give them a lights, camera, and action. Thank you, Pangea. Um, Al, are you ready for the, the skit, right? Uh, what, the skit? The, yeah, I sent you the paper with the, the whole skit. It was oh, written out. It even uh, had you like owl, and it was like your lines. Do you see the fire? Yeah, I don't see what it has to do well, with the papers. I needed some things to uh, start the fire, owl. so I took that paper. It's beautiful. You know, I, I read it a little bit as I was ripping it in shreds to feed the fire, but. Okay, well, so you're telling me you don't know your lines. That's what I'm getting out of this. Yeah, you know, maybe if you like fed me them a little bit, it would like jog my memory and I'd be able to. All right, them. all right. I think you'd be great for the part of first mate. First mate? Yeah. Well, who are you? I'm the captain. What? I, yeah. I, I can't be the captain? Well, maybe I can manage scripts and you burned yours. So yeah, you're first mate. All right. You're at first least, mate. At least I'm first. But I think second. you'll be great. Exactly. I thought okay. I was okay. like, I'm Owl ready. Ready. would be first mate, not third mate or anything. Okay. All right. I'll feed you the line. So, so I'm like driving the ship and you're over there cleaning and then you're going to come cleaning. running in. Yeah. You're a good cleaner. I've seen how clean your place is. <laughs> All right. Um, and you're going to come running in and you're just going to say captain three times really fast. Like got it. excitedly. Cleaning captain three times fast. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. yeah. We'll just, we'll I'm start ready. off with I'm that. Ready. All right. Said so you burnt the script, but whatever. Uh, we'll give him a little mini lights camera action. Lights, camera, action. Woo! Ah! Captain three times fast! Uh, uh, that was great. Cut, cut. I did, I did a little opera I, style. I loved it. I've never heard you sing opera. Yeah, that was yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it was so good. It was great, except for I, uh, like, written out it would have said, Captain, Captain, Captain. Well, why didn't you say that? I, I, okay, yeah, fair enough. I said Captain three times fast. I was hoping you would get that part if you'd read it, but, okay, so... But you'll just say captain, 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 captain. <laughs> okay. With the opera, everything else is yeah, yeah. beautiful. Great, I love great. it. All right. All right. Uh, the next part, it's like you're excited, like something is happening. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what's happening? And you're going to let me know that the ship is sinking. Great. Got it. Got it? Yeah, yeah. Totally on top All right. of it. Just, just like I said. Okay. Let's give it a backward action. Camera lights. Captain, Captain, Captain! Oh my gosh, what's the matter? The ship, it's stinking! It's stinking, no! We've been out at sea for like 20 days. Ow, 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 ow. That's, that's great. I love the, the acting and yeah. the intensity. Passion. But passion and smelling. Uh, the script, though, if you had read, has nothing to do with the ship stinking. Well, why not? That would be a great plot twist. Yeah, that could be like your own movie. But this one is like the ship is sinking. It's a vital part of this skit is that it's sinking. sinking. All right, all right. I mean, if it stinks, I, that's... I think stinking's a fun plot twist in, in, <laughs> in the name could of be. things. It could be, it a, could be. A, a commercial later. That'll be part two. Okay. Get okay, it? Part two. Yep. Get it. Um, all right, all right. Getting on track. Okay, so you got that. It's sinking. sinking. And then it's like, oh, my gosh, what happened? And it's because... Get this, this is original idea. Yeah. It hit an iceberg. Oh, I've never heard of that before. I know, I know, right? Never. Brilliant. It's Brilliant. a really, really big iceberg? Yeah. Okay. Sure, I mean, it's a really, really, really big ship. Okay, okay. Yeah, hit an iceberg. You got it. I'm ready, I'm ready. Sure. Totally sure. All right, uh, mini lights, camera, action. <laughs> ah! 
Captain, Captain, Captain! Oh my gosh, what's the matter? The ship, it's sinking! Oh, it's sinking, that's terrible! How is this happening? What happened? We hit an ice cube! It's big. Uh, an ice cube? Yeah, it's a big one. A big, like how big is an ice yeah, cube? Yeah, like big, you know, like in the punch bowls. Yeah, like in the punch bowl on the ship that doesn't affect it, and then ice. This is really, really, really big. It's like a gigantic. Ooh, maybe I should call it gigantic, this movie. I think I'm okay, going to call okay. it gigantic. It's a gigantic ship, Alec. Ice cube, that even a big one would be like, blink. It wouldn't even. It's like a, a really big ice cube. They call them icebergs. Bergs. Exactly. <laughs> And it hits the ship. Cute. It's going to, like, cause it Sounds to so sink. Sounds so good. I know, right? Thank okay. you. I thought so. Fine, fine. Thank you. Thank you. So an iceberg, an Burr. ice cube is like someone spilled their drink. It's like whatever. All right, all right. All right, so, what's the next part? What's the next okay. part? Okay. So um, we need a radio for help, right? And I've got to tell them how far from land we are. Okay, okay. And so we're far. We're, like, 40 nautical miles. Nautical miles. Got it. Yeah. Kay. You've heard of that? You're, you know? Yeah. It's ship talk. Okay, yeah, okay, good, you got it. Uh, all right, let's give it a light camera action. Ah! Captain, Captain, Captain! Oh my gosh, what's the matter? The ship, it's sinking! It's sinking, that's terrible! How did this happen? We hit an iceberg! Oh, that's so terrible. How far from land are we? 40 barnacle piles! Ba barnacle piles? Yeah, that's like sea talk, nautical talk. That's what we're doing. <laughs> I mean, I Maybe it's like tide pool talk with your like friends and you're like, yeah, oh, look at that cool barnacle pile. From the okay, pool. sure. And you're like, oh, look at that barnacle pile on the whale. But like a bar how big is a barnacle pile? It could Just be huge. Curious. Like how big? Like this big. Yeah, that's that's big. And then you're like, oh, a barnacle pile. And then you like walk to shore. And how would we even be that shallow? Barnacles are where it's shallow. Well, We're sinking. We're nautical miles out. Nautical. Nautical. I thought you when you said ship talk, I was yeah, like, yeah. oh, Al's got it. Nautical. Like Nautical. a barnacle pile. Okay, I love okay, tide okay. pooling with you. Okay, we'll okay, go check okay. out some barnacle piles. No I know some miles. of my friends out there are tide poolers. So. Nautical miles, you Nautical. got it? Nautical miles. You know, Al, I know, you know, maybe you're just, you're one that likes to, to free flow. And yeah. I feel like maybe I'm giving you too much direction right here. Yeah, I'm creative. Yeah, I know you're very <laughs> creative. How about this next one? I'm not even going to really tell you exactly what to say this one. Uh, and then you can't okay. mess it up. Perfect. So I've got a radio which direction we're going, right? Like yeah. north, south, east, west, yeah, right? Yeah, Never yeah, eat yeah. soggy Wheaties or waffles, uh -huh. depending on where you're from. Um, so just choose a direction. And you just, any, I don't even, yeah. Great. Any direction. Any direction. Okay, got it. Okay, okay. We'll see how this goes. All right. Let's give them a last lights, camera, action. Captain, Captain, Captain! Oh, no, what's the matter, first mate? The ship, it's sinking! It's sinking, that's terrible, how is this happening? We hit an iceberg! Oh, a really big iceberg, oh, that's terrible, how far from land are we? 40 nautical miles! Oh my gosh, that is too far to walk, we're gonna have to call for help, which direction are we headed? The ship's going down! I, <laughs> it is, you said it in Yeah, Don't I'll, count. yeah, alright, you got it. Wow, that was incredible. They really put their heart and soul into that. Let's give them a little clap here. You put one hand on your heart and another on your soul and clap it out. Amazing. I think we've got another fun song for you all about another creature that we find in our forest. Maybe not so often right now, but more in the wet season. What can you tell us about this creature? Yes, so, uh, actually, yeah, I was hanging out in the Redwood Forest and I saw a few of these little friends, our salamanders, <gasps> yes. And the way they were walking, it just seemed so silly. And uh, there's four main types in this song, we'll talk about them all. We got our California Slenders, um, our Pacific Giant Salamanders, California Newts, <gasps> And the Encetina. <gasps> have you seen every single type? I did not this weekend, but I have seen every type, yes. Uh, almost everyone except for the Pacific Giant. And uh, Pangea, do you feel like you've taught about any of these recently? 
You know, I feel like we might have seen one or two of these salamanders every now and again. All right. Well, this song, uh, there's some motions, and you'll have to follow everybody else. Or you can follow me, too. Just play some air guitar. That's fine. Or real guitar. But uh, they'll do the motions, and I'd love if you followed along back home. Uh, so it goes like this. Silly salamander with your smooth, smooth skin. That's how some of you do your breathing. Silly salamander, only four front toes. If it gets cut off, it just grows and grows. Beautiful. There you go. It's about our silly salamanders. Um, great. And then you'll learn about our songs. And there's even a verse in Espanol for us all here. All right. Here we go. And then remember, we'll just do chorus once. First, first, first. All right. Two, three, four. Silly salamander with your smooth, smooth skin. That's how some of you do your breathing. Silly salamander on the four front toes. If it gets cut off, it just grows and grows. California slander, great pretender. Looks like a snake, but that's a mistake. Please, I beg, look at the four tiny legs. There's a four, just a knife, four worms. Two. Bye! Silly salamander with your smooth, smooth skin. That's how some of you do your breathing. Silly salamander, only four front toes. If it gets cut off, it just grows and grows. If a giant salamander take a gander Because there's not one that is grander This amphibian is almost one foot long And can eat banana slugs all day long Silly salamander with your smooth, smooth skin That's how some of you do your breathing Silly salamander only four front toes If it gets cut off, it just grows and grows California noon has skin that's rough And seeing them is not too tough Because they move real slow and strike a warning pose And if you ate just one, you start to decompose oh, Silly salamander with your smooth, smooth skin That's how some of you do your breathing Silly salamander, only four front toes If it gets cut off, it just grows and grows Satina salamander, lama spina, si tiene miedo va debajo de una piedra, antes que gustan los que he mojado, y puede vivir por 15 años. Silly salamander with your smooth, smooth skin, that's how some of you do your breathing. Silly salamander, only four front toes, if it gets cut off, it just grows. One more time, let's hear it, here we go. Silly salamander with your smooth, smooth skin. That's how some of you do your breathing. Silly salamander, only four front toes. If it gets cut off, it just grows and grows and grows and grows. can see you all out there with my big owl eyes sitting on your couch and not moving much. And so with this next song, we have an invitation to get you moving and grooving and doing a little dance in your chair and out of your chair. So for this song, you need a finger and a thumb, which make a V for very cool. <clears throat> and the song goes like this, and then I'll teach you about what's going to happen because something special is going to happen with this song. So you get out your finger and you get out your thumb and we say one finger, one thumb, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, keep moving. And we all love outdoor school, tra-la. Hey. <clears throat> okay, sweet. So in the song, we're gonna add on different movements. So in the beginning, we have a finger and a thumb and then we'll have a hand. And then the next verse, we'll add some other things and so on and so forth. 
And the most important part of the song is when we sing, and we all love outdoor school, tra-la. Hey, we want that part to grow louder and louder and louder <clears throat> as we go. So when we get to the last verse, it's so loud. You can hear us from your houses, and we can hear you from your houses. So, so loud. But Peek and I are not going to tell you when it's the last verse. We're just going to have to keep you guessing and getting louder and louder. All right, get out your finger, get out your thumb. Three, two, one. One finger, one thumb, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, keep moving. And we all love outdoor school, tra-la. Hey, one finger, one thumb, one hand, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one hand, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one hand, keep moving. And we all love outdoor school, tra-la. Hey, one finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, keep moving. And we all love outdoor school, tra-la. Hey, one finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, one head, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, one head, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, one head, keep moving. And we all love outdoor school, tra-la. Hey, one finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, one head, one foot, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, one head, one foot, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, one head, one foot, keep moving. And we all love outdoor school, tra-la. Hey, one finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, one head, one foot, two feet, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, one head, one foot, two feet, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, one head, one foot, foot two feet, keep moving. And we all love outdoor school, tra-la. Hey, one finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, one head, one foot, two feet, stand up, sit down, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, one head, one foot, two feet, stand up, sit down, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, one head, one foot, two feet, stand up, sit down, keep moving. And we all love outdoor school, tra-la. Hey, one finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, one head, one foot, two feet, stand up, sit down, stand up, turn around, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, one head, one foot, two feet, stand up, sit down, stand up, turn around, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, one head, one foot, two feet. Stand up, sit down, stand up, turn around, keep moving. And we all love outdoor school, tra-la. Hey, one finger, one thumb, one hand, two hands, one head, one foot, two feet. Stand up, sit down, stand up, turn around. Ten push-ups! Oh, no. All right, my friends, I don't know about you, but that tired me out. We need to give our friends Alan Peak a very, very important round of applause here. All right, and that round of applause. And again, okay, now they deserve a triangle of applause, a rectangle of applause, and finally, a banana slug of applause. In the hole. All right, next up, our good friend Calibri is going to come on down. I hear she has a story to tell. She just said she has a story. It was supposed to be a song. I don't really know what's going on. Oh, Calibri, you're here. Hey, yes. Yeah, so oh. what's going on? Well, I've been meaning to tell you about it. Yeah. Because, you know, you slept through the whole thing. What? And you could really owe me one. You know, you could buy me a really, like, cherry pie. Cherry but pie? But really, really any pie. You'll get it once I tell you the story. You just, you know. Okay. okay. Let me tell you, I did not sleep a wink last night, oh, Pangea. Man. Not a wink. Not a wink. I didn't sleep at all. But I think it was for a worthy cause. Let me tell you how it happened. It was one of it was, it was just a wild, wild night in general. I had invited all of my outdoor school friends over to camp out in my backyard because, yeah. you know, with COVID, the only way we can hang out is outside. And so. We decided we could camp, which was awesome, right? Yeah, it was super fun. Yeah, we made marshmallows, the whole thing. We're all settled in our sleeping bags, in our tents, super cozy, going to bed, and suddenly we heard this, and when I say we, I mean me, because no one else seemed to wake up. You heard what? It went like this. Weird. Yeah, and I, w I think to myself, oh no, I know what that is. <gasps> That's my housemate's cat. 
Uh, sometimes they sometimes they get really excited in their dreams and they start making these cow these cow these cat noises. They're just like really excited about little something. Little Mr. Mittens. Yeah, I know. Mm. Seriously. So I go into the house. I creep. I'm like, oh, I don't want to wake anyone else up, but I'll give them some kibble. I look into Mr. Mittens' bed. The cat's sitting there, on its back, paws out. <laughs> Yeah, cat snoring. It was cat snoring. Huh. So it wasn't wasn't the cat. wasn't making any of those noises. It was passed out. So, so what was making the noise? So I went back out and I hear it again as I'm walking towards my tent. What? It and I'm looking around. I'm looking up in the trees. No, it was right below my feet. You didn't hear this at all. I have no idea what you're talking about. See, I knew it. Everyone else was just asleep in their tents. Jeez. I can't believe it. And I can, you know, here I am, cross-eyed, tired. I look down. It was this big. It was a tiny worm. A worm? A worm! Was crying? Was making that Weird. Like sobbing, sobbing. Not like a, ooh, I'm kind of sad. Like, I'm really upset kind of a cry. Yeah. So I go to the worm and I say, excuse me, Mr. Worm, but we are having a camp out and it's really important that we get our sleep because we have to do this campfire tomorrow. And he says, ah, that's what I'm crying about. You always, you always, you always sing about the banana slugs. I said, whoa, oh, whoa, the whoa. banana slug Back song? Up. Did you show it to the worm? It's awesome. Bye. No, no, I couldn't. I couldn't. What I couldn't, I couldn't Pangea. Not. He was so upset. Oh. So I had to hear him out. I said, I said, what do you, what? I, you, we love banana slugs. And he says, yeah, but, but I, I do everything. I do everything they do. I, oh. I eat things that are, that are dead, like, like leaves and, and, and old food scraps and all the things on the forest floor. And I turn them back into dirt, just like the banana slug. Yeah, but do they eat scat? Like the banana slug? I asked him that. And what did it say? He said, of course. Oh, my gosh. So they are just like the banana slug. It just kept going like that. Oh. I know. I'm almost, I'm yeah. a little emotional thinking about it, honestly. It was rough. I had never yeah. seen a worm so really emotional sad. before. So as you may imagine, I said, Mr. Worm. And he said, no, 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 no. Por favor, call me gusano. Oh. And I said, oh. The worm well, speaks Spanish. Doesn't that just mean worm in Spanish? And he said, yes. I prefer that name. He spoke some Spanish. He spoke some Spanish and he wrote in worm language, which is Whoa. where I get to my next point. He pulls out this teeny tiny worm scroll. Worm scroll. And he says, here's what you can do. Because naturally I'm like, we need to go to sleep. We have this important bonfire. What can I do to help you so you'll stop screaming? He says, please, please, please just teach this, teach this song to your friends about the worms. And he gave me the scroll. And what did you do? Did you translate it? I spent all night translating this oh my gosh. This scroll from worm, worm into English so that we could sing it with the students. And I was hoping they would sing from their houses. And then oh. maybe maybe the gusanos all over the place will hear this song and feel a little better about themselves. I hope so. Do you think that might work? I think it might work if we get everybody singing about the gusanos. Well, Pangea, I hope so because I promised him. I said, I said, I'm going to do my very best and we're all going to sing it together. So can you guys all out there all sing it with me? Let's go. We're going to sing it really loud. I'll teach it to you. It's got some motions. It's okay. like he's really, he works hard on it. He wants to be just as fun as the Banana Slug song. And, you know, they are really just as cool. I think so. I learned a lot when from really this really comes worm. down to it. Gusano and I are buddies now. So it goes like this. You get your elbow right nice and high. And you start with the name because, you know, we want to feel good. So you jump a little and you say, C. Ooh, I like that C at the Little no and C, you know, opposites contrasting. It's a beautiful thing. And then you go into what they do, and this is what they do. Get out your hands. I aerate the earth as I tunnel and Squam! I am proud, proud to, to be, be called, called a worm. And that's it. That's the most important chorus. So, you know, you do the name, you do what they do, they aerate, they tunnel, they squirm, and then you got to be proud of who you are, like and they really got to hear that. And then we're going to have some verses, and after the verses, to really get the gusanos listening, we're going to do a little flamenco cap. It goes like this. I think you all got it. Okay, we want to hear you blowing up those houses all over. Those gusanos are going to come out of the ground when they hear this. <gasps> Elbows up. Gusanos. Gusanos. 
Gusanos. Thanks, Gusanos. All right, my friends. So, we need to give you and all the Gusanos a very, very, very special clap now. So, let's go back to the refrigerator. All right. Open that refrigerator. All right. Oh, man, we ate all the cheese. Oh, no more bacon left. All I got is this broccoli. All right, so go ahead. Grab out your broccoli. It's one of those broccolis with the, the big purple bandana on it. So you're going to have to take off that bandana and throw the broccoli in the trash. Go ahead, take one hand, slip it in that rubber band. Take your other hand, slip it in the rubber band, pull it apart and further and... All right, so my friends, next up, unfortunately, oh my gosh, I have to go on a hike. Let's go! Right now with Peak. Yeah, you said that we could go hiking. I know. I know. Even on today, on your Zoom, you were like, it's really important that you get outside. Even if that just means stepping out on your balcony and taking in some fresh that. air. I did Remember? say that. Remember? And we're here in the Redwoods, so. It's true. And maybe we'll see like a banana slug or a salamander. Ooh, you think we'll see a banana slug? We might. I don't oh, know. That would be awesome. We should go. Are you ready? Right. You have everything um, you need? I don't know. What do I need? I don't know. Maybe like a snack or like oh, a hanky. Snack. I love snacks. I'm going to go get you a know, snack. You know, like your hanky. Right. Oh, hanky. Like a... Like a bandana or like, I'm not sure. Things like that, right? Like all the things you need to be prepared for just a little stroll. I'm ready. ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. All Wait! Right. What? Do you see that banana slug? Whoa. Whoa. That's 
That's so cool. Whoa! Let's Can I pick it up? up? We shouldn't pick them up, remember? We need oh, to keep yeah. them safe. Yeah. It's important to not mess with nature. Quote by Pangea. Fine. But we can still kiss it. <gasps> That's right. I forgot you right? could kiss it. Kay. Wait, do you remember how to do it though, Pete? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Okay. I was paying attention. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Wait, Peek! Yeah? You're supposed to tuck your lips in. Oh. Uh, you got the banana slug slime on your mouth now. Your mouth is my, gonna go all numb. My tongue is doing something. Oh, Peek, we talked about this like multiple times. <laughs> I, I say it every day. Like, is this is so much. Oh, stop howling. Now I can't even understand what you're saying, Peek. Oh, well, like that's that's on you, dude. Oh, fine. You know what? Let's just He's go on a hike. Sammy. Okay. Let's just oh, go on a hike. Okay. Well, like I'm getting kind of tired. You already tired? Yeah, we walked like two steps, so uh, I need a break. That's true. All right, okay. well, let's sit. Oh, can I show you? Can I show you what, what another student taught me out outdoor school? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, so you sit down. Okay. Find a nice place. Uh huh. Okay, then you're gonna get out your bananas. Get out my banana? Yeah, your banana. Yeah, yeah, I got it. That's what I said. Okay, you got it? Yeah, I got okay. it. And you first, you're gonna make sure there's no wrinkles. No you wrinkles? Move it all out. Smooth it all out. You want me to smooth it out? Yes. What? Yes. Of course. Yes. No wrinkles. All right. I don't think it has any wrinkles. I mean, it'd be Why weird if it did. It? Like, you don't need to hit. You just need to smooth. Well, it's not smooth. that easy to smooth out, Peek. Yeah. If something's wrong with your bandana. I don't know. Nothing's wrong with okay. it. It's just a little brown. Then, then, oh, I, okay, whatever, dude. Brown bandana's fine. Like, mine just happens to be yeah, yellow. I agree, it's fine. Okay, then you can take one little corner and you're gonna fold it to another corner. Fold one corner to yeah, another so corner. It makes it like a triangle shape. Where did you learn this? From an outdoor school student. This is, I was with them for like September. I guess that's sort of a triangle. October. No, like it has to be a triangle. Ugh. Is yours breaking? Mine's breaking. It's not breaking. Oh, you must what have a nice bandana one. you have? Like a normal one. How do you have it broken? Like All right, it's no. a triangle. What's okay. next? Okay. Next. You're going to take it. And you're going to first That was kind of sweaty work. So you're going to dab your forehead a little. Whew. Dab ah, my something. forehead? Yeah, so that you're not sweaty. <sighs> Are you doing it? I'm about to. And you can dab the back this of your neck weird. too. Like help cool yourself down. You know, this actually is kind of cooling. Yeah, I know. That's why you use it. Huh. I what don't is understand that? you. Okay. Next, you're going to take it. And this was really popular in like the 90s, like cool fashion. And you're going to put it on your head. Like this. Put it on my head? Yeah. Yes. Yes. You put it on your head. Like just plop it. Well, you don't really plop. You kind of just lay. You lay it on your head. Okay. You're going to lay it on your head, and then you're going to tie a knot in the back of your head. Huh? Back of your hair. You tie a knot. Oh, look, tie a knot? Yeah, you tie. Like, how else are you going to get it to stay on your head? You have to tie mm -hmm. a knot. <sighs> and then it's like a really cool, stylish piece. See, look. What the heck is that? You're very stylish. What? Why do you have a banana? Dude? You told me to put a banana on my head. No, bandana. Oh, bandana. I thought you said banana. It's not a style to put a banana on I'm your going head. home, Peek. Oh, you gotta go home. You gotta go wash your clothes. Nice. That was beautiful. We are gonna give him a special clap. We are going to give them the sprinkler clap. So it goes like this. Don't waste too much water. Um, all right, my friends. Here we are coming to the end for Campfire. We're so glad you've joined us. Um, thank you so much. We have one last song for you. It's a dismissal farewell song. Um, but thanks for coming. Thanks for joining us. Have a good rest of your day, week, year. <coughs> um, we come from the water.
back to you.